After the thrill of seeing Uda return to Division 2, came the joy of seeing him thrive there. A solid 9-6 filled with daring moves in November, followed by double figures in January. But in the tier where the many do just enough to self-preserve, big promotions are hard to gain, leaving our man to settle for a middle-ranked march. With Division 1 still a distant spec, Uda's goal was simply to edge closer and set up a summer promotion bid, all the while testing the strength of his ACL. Only twice in his career has he lost his first match, and never since 2016. He thus began by going for a 16th straight winning start. And with ever-improving movement, he got it, taking a run-up to push back against Chiotori's charge, knocking upwards, escaping the clamp, teasing with the right, then pulling firmly with the left. He then spent most of match two in his freestyle wrestling stance, using a leftward tachi ai and steps to launch repeated raids on the knee pit, scaring his foe into drawing back, and ensuring his head was low enough to profit. For the seventh time in eight post-injury, he had won his first two. Against Wakamoto Haru though, who famously slipped out of his overhead twist down, the desired signs of progress were missing. Uda's rear foot slipped on his routine rightward retreat, allowing Waka, sticking tight with nice diagonal feet, to slap the sliding frame down. There are sadly no prizes for post-match gymnastics. Day 4 saw a reunion with the man caught up in his most memorable post-comeback moment, Kyokushuho. And Uda took their head-to-head to 4-0 -head to with a leftward shuffle and leg seizure, which seemed to influence Enho two days later. Imagine, we thought, how confident he'd be against Azumaryu, who he led 6-0. Ah, but this is Division 2, publishing house for the Sumo Book of Sneaky Tricks. The Mongolian's right defends his knee before punching down on the nape Wakamoto Haru style. Note again Uda's instinctive move for the knee pits and freestyle wrestling takedown. There must still be days when he doubts his choice of profession. Day 6, though, was not likely one of them. Oldest opponent Shaw Horzan dislodged with a double elbow and neck parry, then constantly shoved from underneath. He followed that with another leg pull themed win over clumsily groping Yago, then tied level for the lead on day 8 in this oft replayed first bout with Enho. Triumph in the Battle of the Crowd Pleasers should have marked a post-comeback zenith. Instead, his awkward landing saw his ladder kicked away. Uda's left calf had been pulled, and while not in itself of sufficient concern to deter him from fighting, the inevitable increased burden on the right ACL was. Despite his cool dismissal of concerns to fans and coach, Uda elected to sit out days 9 and 10 as a precaution, the first of those resulting in this default win for Hakuyozan, which proved far more consequential than we imagined. 
dubiously claiming full recovery, he returned on day 11 for a prospective title eliminator against Chiomaru. But, after a mid-ring standoff, allowed his rotund foe to move two points ahead by face slap and push out. With his left leg movements tentative, his best hope was seemingly to plunder two quick wins to save rank and rest for the remainder. To our relief, a lackluster Sadano Umi gifted the first of those. Then, technically dwarfed Bushozan was suckered into falling forwards. But despite that eighth win, Uda fought on against inexperience, diving under debutant Takakento's thrusts to pivot and force out. He must be concerned about flare-ups, but the power's clearly there, said the ex-Yoshikaze from the commentator's booth. And the finale, against title-seeking Takagenji, underlined what he meant. Once again, Uda was left limping, but had found the power to send his far larger foe to ground with a resounding shove. Despite forfeiting two bouts then, Uda had tied level with Takagenji and opened the route to a multiple man title playoff. However, one of those forfeits would prove most costly. In beating a fading Chiomaru, Hakuyozan raised his score to 11, winning the title therefore by the single point gained from a match Uda did not fight. Despite ritually downplaying his title hopes, the pink belted one knows just how close he came. Closer perhaps than he may ever come again. Then again, having suffered injury hell, he is surely grateful for the timely reminders to protect his knees, without which the joys of merely fighting again will be far shorter lived.